you're trying to get your dog house broken, your puppy, there's three important factors to doing this. And these are very important. One, do not use wee wee pads. Two, the food you use is extremely important. And three, you need to be losing sleep. The first thing, the wee wee pads. Do not use those, don't bring those in your house. They're scented with a pheromone that attracts a dog to shit and piss on them. In other words, they, they smell like shit and piss to the dog. So you're teaching the dog to shit and piss in your house. Don't even do it for a week. Never buy those things. It's a product that there, some company makes, that companies are making to make money. If you want to use papers, then go to a newsstand and buy the New York Times or some other newspaper, but do not ever use wee wee pads. A dog like this is very easy to housebreak. So the dog that's easy to housebreak to get to go to the bathroom outside is also easy to train to go to the bathroom inside. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just as easy to, and then a month later, you got a dog that is shitting and pissing in the house for its entire life. Don't ever buy that product. Now, the other factor is the food that you are giving the dog. If you're giving the dog kibble and treats and all that kind of stuff, that dry kibble expands in the dog's stomach. It pushes against the dog's bladder. Also, because it's dry, the dog has to hydrate it by drinking a lot of water, and that's not helpful either. Use a raw diet and a raw diet only with a low fiber profile. This is very important, okay? Does that make sense? Don't, don't use kibble, don't use, don't use canned either, that's artificially hydrated. You use a raw diet, it's gonna have the, what? Hi, how you doing? It's gonna have the correct amount of uh, water in it. Do, do you, you see what I'm saying? Like a, like a dog, a dog in the, that's on raw diet in the winter time, like they barely ever go to the water bowl. They don't need to. Why is that? Because the meat that they're eating has water in it. That's what you want to use. And don't just give your dog meat. You give your dog just raw meat. You're going to make it sick. They need a lot more calcium than a human. So you, you have to be adding calcium in if you're doing your own, own raw diet or you need to grind raw chicken for a puppy this age, this puppy's nine weeks old, you need to grind it up. Do not give the dog bone-in chicken at this point. You'll give the dog enteritis, the very least. And the other factor that's very important for getting the dog house broken, by the way, this dog is awesome. I wake up in the middle of the night, okay, and take this dog out. I've been losing a lot of sleep. This is very important. Do you want the dog house broken? You better be losing sleep. And I am. I'll wake up every two hours. I took him out at 12.30, I took him out at 2.30, I took him out at 4.30, and then I took him out at 6.30, and I also took Hanu, who's a little bit under six months, I think. I took him out because he's a puppy too. So he's, the whole time he's been here, I've been waking up at like 5.36 to take out Hanu because you have to build on success. The more the dog goes outside, the more the dog's gonna get it. That's just how it is. If you, don't, if you think that you're gonna be able to sleep in, you got a puppy and you're gonna be able to sleep in and your dog's gonna figure out housebreaking by you sleeping in, you're making a huge mistake. I'm crate training this dog. I am crate training this dog. I'm a professional. If you can't get up, don't let the dog start pissing and peeing in the crate because you'll never get the dog house broken. If you know you're lazy and you can't get the dog out, you better put it in a puppy pen so that if it shits or pisses, it can get away from it. That's, you know, don't, don't shoot the messenger. I'm telling you the truth. You want the dog house broken, you better start losing a lot of sleep. Okay, it's it's 3.30 and I'm going to go take Finn out. I've been waking up every couple hours and I take him outside. Every time I take him outside, he'll go to the bathroom within 10, 10 seconds of getting him outside. 
He's awesome. I just leash him up, take him outside, go to the bathroom. I come back and, and go to sleep. Now, Finn is a perfect example of why you, you do not use wee-wee pads. And the reason why is Finn it will be fairly easy to train to go outside to housebreak. But if you use wee-wee pads, like, you know, with a dog like this for 30 days, you're going to be buying them for the rest of your life. Do you understand why? He's easy to housebreak. So it's just as easy to train him to go inside as it is outside. You don't use those, not even for a week. It's a huge mistake. If you have to use paper or something like that, go to the newsstand and buy a New York Times and have him pee on that. Do not bring in wee-wee pads because wee-wee pads are scented with a pheromone that smells like shit and pissed your dog. It is the worst thing that you can do. They should be taken off the market. They should. It's, it's horrible. It's so horrible. They want you, they want your dog to piss on these, right? They want you to buy this product. It's a scam. So let's go take Finn out and I'll, I'll show you what I mean about him pissing real quick. He, he will either pee or poop real quick. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, he'll start. That's what you want. There you go, he's peeing. That's like less than five seconds. You're a good boy, dude. You're a very good boy. Okay, so now we go back in and I'm going back to sleep. It's a good dog. And that, that's what I'm doing with Finn. And with Finn, it's just so easy because I know every time I take this dog out, it doesn't matter if it's day or night, he's always gonna go to the bathroom. He always goes to the bathroom within 15 seconds. Some dogs aren't that easy. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to wake up and take him out. I always take him out. But a dog like this that, that I keep getting success with is just absolutely awesome. It is. It's great. I take him out. He goes to the bathroom. It's like some dogs, some, your puppy, you might take them out in the middle of the night and you might be standing around for you know, five, 10 minutes, trying to get them to go to the bathroom. Don't stand around any longer than 10 minutes. Take the dog back in, wait 15 minutes and bring the dog back out. But that's just how it is. Some dogs are easier to deal with on housebreaking. This guy is a dream come true. He's so, he's brilliant as far as this goes. He really would have if his mom was using wee wee pads. If he would have continued using wee wee pads any longer, he would have totally been trained to go in her house. She would have been buying those things for the rest of Finn's life. Don't buy those things. Don't buy those things. Get the dog on a raw diet because that's going to give the dog much smaller poops. It's not going to expand in the dog's stomach, pushing against the bladder and expand. I mean, that stuff comes out twice as big as, as it was when the dog ate it. It expands. You can't get a dog house broken fast on this pet food and you really, you need to be losing sleep. Those are the most important factors when it comes to house breaking a puppy. I do, a, I, I, I train a lot of puppies, okay? That's, mo that's most of my business the last couple of years is training puppies. I've raised a lot of puppies, my own. Like I always get like a puppy you know, not always. Some of my dogs I've acquired when they're older, but if I'm if I'm looking for a dog, if I'm going to buy a dog, I'm definitely buying one in the seventh, eighth, or ninth week. There's a reason for that, and I know that I'm going to be losing sleep. If if you, lots of people think that it's going to go easy with the puppy. I'm just telling you right now. If you have children. What are you doing getting a puppy? You have kids to deal with and then you get a puppy. Talk about overworking yourself. If you have, if you have children and you're getting a puppy, maybe you better find somebody like me that'll get your dog house broken, give it the basic commands. It just doesn't get done. One other thing while we're on the subject of puppies. About once every three or four months, I'm contacted by some idiot, and I am saying idiot, 
that gets two puppies at the same time. If you're dealing with a breeder that's willing to sell you two puppies at the same time, they're not a reputable breeder. They're just interested in making money. If you're at a pet store and they want to sell you two dogs at the same time, just don't do it, okay? I've never seen this go well for either dog. Neither dog gets trained. They're always a mess. Don't do it. You got enough on your plate with one puppy. Most of the time, statistically, the dogs don't get trained anyway. We got 4 million dying every year in the United States because of lack of training or no training. And then there's arrogant assholes that will get two puppies at the same time. You want to have two dogs, you get the first one trained and then you do the second one. Finn, here. Come here, buddy. Look at Finn. This dog's cute. You are cute, brother. Trump sucks. Trump's the worst. He's smart too. Trump is the worst. You're damn right he's the worst. Katie's horrible. Let's go eat raw diet. The other thing that I want you to notice is, is my shoes. And my shoes, they're slippers because they're easy to get on my feet. I slept in my clothes and I, I always have either a pair of shoes that are easy to slip on or I wear slippers. I just want to get get the dog outside as quick as possible. I don't want any trouble. Just sleep in your clothes while, you know, for a week or two while you're, while you're getting this instilled in the dog that, that you want the dog to go outside, not go inside, okay? It's very important. Sleep in your clothes, lose sleep, never use wee-wee pads ever, not even for a short period, and get the dog on a raw diet with a low fiber profile.